For this video I'm going to be mainly concentrating on airbrushing and using some acrylic pens to create a very basic layer pattern. The layer body I'm painting is a hand carved spook that I made in a previous video and I'll post a link to that on the screen or below. As part of that video I did a giveaway and for this project I'll be painting one of the winner's favourite patterns. I prepared the body by giving it a decent coat of 5 minute epoxy and then sanding it down with some 400 grit paper to give the paint something to grip to. To remove any dust I also gave it a bit of a wipe down. So to get going I'm going to lay down a base coat of white acrylic. This is probably the most difficult coat to lay down uh, because I'm going straight onto the sanded epoxy. So I'm really just going to mist this in gently. The airbrush I'm using is an Iowata Neo which is their entry level airbrush. This is a dual action airbrush which means you press down to get your air and then pull back to get the paint. I'm running this with a, a little 15 litre pancake compressor. The paint I'm using is a white acrylic from Liquitex and this is pre-mixed up for airbrushes so I don't need to thin it or add anything to it. So as a first layer that will probably do. So the first pattern I'm going to paint is the Fire Tiger and despite not having any white in it I really need to blank out that background to give me a canvas to work on. It should really take two or three coats to build up a decent base to paint on top of. Um, to speed up the drying process between coats I generally give it a blast with a hair dryer or a heat gun. To give it a bit of a blowout for the next layer of paint I've stuck it in a cleaning station and I'm just running some ordinary water through. The cleaning station stops the vapour just filling the room. Normally when I'm painting I'll be wearing a mask but obviously I can't really talk with a mask on. I'm going to add a shimmer coat and this is basically an acrylic ink with shiny particles added. Really this is probably the worst thing to spray out of all the paints. Because of those tiny particles it tends to over time just clog up the airbrush and needs cleaning a lot. So I'm going to run this at probably about 50 psi and just really blast it on. The reason I'm doing it first off is because the other paints I'm using are transparent. This should shine through, if not I can always top it up later. I'm going to go back and clean it out again. This time I'm going to use a bit of shower cleaner which is a kind of cheap airbrush cleaner. And then give it a bit more water. The first finished colour of paint I'm going to use is just a, a yellow. This is a Createx. I'm just going to paint literally the bottom half. Because this is Createx paint it really needs to be heat set so I'm going to put the hairdryer on this for a few minutes. Next up I'm going to use an, an emerald green ink. I'm not really going to clean out the airbrush for this, I'll just spray it through. One of the big problems of mixing different brands of paint is compatibility. Even though acrylics are pretty inert, some of them will react with each other and can leave nasty patterns in the paintwork. To kind of get some consistent straight lines, I've mounted the layer in a fly tying vise which allows me to just rotate it. And I've also built a little, just a wooden armrest. This is a block of, looks like 4x2 with some gaffer tape on the top. So I can kind of slide backwards and forwards instead of freehanding it, which doesn't always work well for me. And then because I'm changing to an orange underneath, I'm gonna to have to really clean this out. So normally with a fire tiger pattern, it would be a, an orange underbelly. I'm gonna use some red and thin it down with reducer, which is basically a thinner with some additives to help the paint flow. I can just mix this up in the cup and hopefully it should allow some of that yellow to shine through. I 
if that's a very red orange. <laughs> For the eyes, I'm using a stencil to put down some white. I cut this from a piece of packaging and marked and punched some holes in it. I'm gonna put down a couple of layers of this base and then come back and pop it with some red. The pupil I'll also come back to later. For the stripes, I'm using an acrylic marker pen and just freehanding it. This is a lot quicker than making a stencil for a one-off layer. I can also use this pen to add the black pupil and sign and date the layer. So I'm going to leave that to dry overnight and then tomorrow stick it on the epoxy turning rack and give it a couple of coats of uh, clear coat. Acrylic paints, even with shimmer coats, tend to be very matte. And it's not until a clear coat goes on like epoxy that you get to see the true colours. In the next video, I'll be dealing with painting the rest of the layers for the other four winners, which may be a bit of a challenge as they range from mackerel patterns through to zombies. Thanks for watching.